Hello, I'm Sub Lieutenant Thomas Duffy, Navigation and Communications Officer on board LE James Joyce. Today I'm going to be going through how to take a plankton sample for UCC. So make sure that we have the weights, we have the cod end, and we have the plankton net all connected. When we move up, make sure that the shackles are connected, and that the bridles aren't twisted, and then we connect it to the line, and that is then placed overboard. I bring the net up vertically, when it gets up to about here, we're going to twist the net, and then we're going to spray it lightly, so that the plankton at the side will fall into the container. So once the plankton is back on board, we're going to strain it out by pouring out about half the water through the filter. And then we're going to refill it with the spray, which will catch the plankton caught on the side, and then we get our sample. So now we have the plankton in the sample jar. We're going to pour this into the jar that's going to be sent away. This already has formalin solution in it. We're going to note the date, time, where the sample was taken from, and I thought it was at an oblique angle. Hi, my name is Maria McGuinness and I'm overseeing the Plankton Club here at UCC. So here we have one of the samples collected by the Irish Naval Service. So what do we do next? We need to take the sample out of the preservative. Now that we have our Plankton sample in tap water, we can look at it under the stereoscope. Then the students here at UCC identify and count the plankton samples. In the samples we can find all sorts of wonderful planktonic animals such as copepods, little jellyfish, baby crabs and sometimes even fish eggs and larvae. So why is it important that we collect these plankton samples? Well first and foremost we need to know what plankton is in our water so that we can detect trends to see if species are increasing or decreasing with climate change. Knowing these trends is also really important as plankton is at the base of all marine food webs and any changes in its composition or abundance could affect commercially important fish stocks and larger marine wildlife such as whales and dolphins. So here at the Plankton Lab, our students are learning firsthand which species are abundant and important here in the Celtic Sea.